Thank you, Mr. President. This is a joint statement on behalf of the Cairo Institute for Human Rights Studies, Civicus, Forum Asia, the International Commission of Jurists, the International Rehabilitation Council for Torture Victims, and the International Service for Human Rights. Mr. President, we remain deeply concerned about continuing reprisals against those who cooperate with the UN human rights mechanisms. We acknowledge that the Council has demonstrated more awareness of the issue of reprisals and appreciate the integration of reprisals in resolutions renewing special procedures mandates, such as that of the Working Group on Arbitrary Detention at the 15th session. We encourage the Council to continue this approach and mainstream such language in all resolutions that create or renew special procedure mandates. We welcome the continued attention given to the issue of reprisals in the outcome of the recently concluded review process. However, the time has come for the Council to move beyond expressions of concern and condemnation to begin to develop concrete responses. The Secretary-General's report on reprisals against those cooperating with the UN human rights system is a starting point, but the cases reported here no more than scrape the surface of the real extent of the problem. Those who suffer reprisals are often reluctant to report them, fearing to suffer further attacks. The collection of information for the Secretary-General's report to be presented in June to the Council has clearly confirmed this. By failing to follow up on the cases reported to it, the Council further compounds the vulnerability of the victims. It is therefore essential that the Council take steps to ensure that each victim's case is taken seriously by the government concerned and properly investigated, that the victims are not subject to further attacks, and that states are held accountable when they fail to take these steps. We regret the lost opportunity to use the review of the Council to develop a concrete response to reprisals. We encourage the idea of an annual panel on reprisals proposed in discussions on the agenda and programme of work. This would allow the issue to be placed firmly on the Council's agenda and ensure visibility and follow-up for the cases included in the Secretary-General's report. However, more needs to be done. We reiterate our call on you, Mr. President, to ensure that states provide the Council with timely information on cases of reprisals. Most importantly, individuals need to be assured that in cooperating with the UN human rights system, they will be protected from harm. The development of a concrete response requires input and specific recommendations from all human rights mechanisms, including the special procedures, treaty bodies, UPR and OHCHR. In this respect, we welcome in particular the recent statements to the Council by the Chair of the Working Group on Arbitrary Detention. ISHR will be hosting a side event tomorrow at 1 p.m., which we hope will provide a forum for stakeholders to offer their recommendations on the concrete steps that can be taken to respond to the issue of reprisals, and we encourage all here today to attend and contribute to the discussion. I thank you.